Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at um, one of the new power nodes inside Spreadshop. This is called the Multi Extrude Alt from Add ons. This is actually kind of like a collaboration, accidental collaboration. Um, I give this credit to Zephy to port this from the add on. The add on, I think, is called Multi, multi Extrude. Um, I'm not sure if this is actually inside Blender. Uh, maybe it is um, multi-extrude. Maybe it's not. You have to find it online and then download it. So this was actually an add-on, and this has been ported into Spherechalk. So yeah. So apparently, um, with some cleverness, you can turn add-on into something like a like a nodes inside Spherechalk, and this is actually quite interesting and you can do a lot with this and this is the first time I saw this note and then I give it a test and then this is kind of very very powerful and interesting um, this is like reimagining um, extrusions in a different way so it's doing like this random extrusion into a plane um, let's start from scratch actually this is actually a very interesting note um, like I said, it's a power node, and there's a lot of attributes that you can play with. Um, it's, it's actually pretty straightforward nodes. Um, let's just uh, take a look. Extrude. So this will give you the giant nodes. Um, yeah, it doesn't actually fit my screen. Um, let's save this. This is SV giant multi extrude so by the the name you can probably guess what this does um i start with a plane if you plug this into there um uh, right away it gives you some kind of um error it's actually asking you to to also provide a, the face mask the face mask itself um can be like a, if you use like list input the easiest is to use a list input of course uh, although it's not always uh, best to do this um, let's say let's say we have like a five by five plane and we give it a face mask so by default it's, it's zero 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 but if I start give it like a, a value you know like zero apparently this is index zero one, two, three, this is index three. And then maybe give it another one, four, and index number 15, I believe. So yeah, zero, three, 12, 15. That index actually comes from viewer index. Just in case you don't know, this is actually uh, quite important. So that's the index of the, actually this guy. So this is the index of the polygon face. We have 16 polygons of this grid. And then we apply this uh, face mask into this guy. And so we have this. Okay, so uh, and you can always change it at any time. Uh, let's just work with this first. I'll save it again. I'll save quite often just in case it crashes. So this node is quite big. So I will maybe do it like this. Um, Blender interface actually very very uh, fluid uh, I found and once you get used to it you can split screen like this very very easily okay let's have a look we have offset okay offset give you kind of extrusion um, along the path like a, there's a, like invisible path of the extrusion so that's what it does and the repeat by default is give 5 uh, let's keep it at 5 uh, you can increase it and reduce it and there's a seed seed doesn't work yet unless you give some value I think there is a location X Y and Z okay that's quite understandable kind of shifted this guy slightly and then there's a, the usual actually the rotation is pretty cool there's like some kind of accumulative effects for this guy okay that's that's kind of nice let's give you a twist as well very nice what is this and what is this and rotate oh let's give you some kind of 
offset or uh, uh, not sure what that does there's a scaling okay okay this is very interesting the scaling this is actually what you might need most of the time if you are doing multiple extrusion um, there are ideally maybe you, you want to be able to you know draw with crisp pencil and then but yeah but you have if you have like hundred of this you don't, you won't you won't draw each one of them anyway you're gonna control it using some kind of maybe hair simulations I don't know yet but here uh, there's also variation settings and this is the interesting part I think rotation variations so that's give like a seed you know the seed suddenly you can use and wow that's really cool it's almost like a um, like a creatures now tentacles um, there's oh, okay the scale noise randomization for the scale probability oh, oh, okay that's give the variations to the the length oh that's really nice really nice uh, you can of course add you know add more index if you want to have more uh, tentacles if you want to have tentacles on every polygon face you can I believe you can use range integer I haven't tried this but range integer and then you use the least length um, oh by the way this grid can be centered as well um, let's do that real quick oh center doesn't work oh because I need to give a proper face first okay this is the least length the total number of the polygon face goes in here count plug this there okay now we have tentacles for every polygon face very cool uh, everything is very clean very nice this plugin uh, this add-on works um, ported really nicely by Zevi in overnight I was actually surprised he's a really like really genius um, I don't know how he did it this is ama amazing add-on totally I really like it um, very powerful so you have still control for this uh, okay center normalize very cool you can change the, the number it will still work even just this actually quite interesting and shocking very cool there is a okay if you have this number for everything maybe you can also use random number I believe so if you give like a random number probably not the most correct but you can you can actually do this a random number um, um, the size integer low and height height the maximum number is the index number and then the size is how many we want random number being generated and this is actually more random you can also use a uh, noise maybe noise is cleaner way to do this instead of random um, yeah but you can do a lot of oh like a uh, intricate design really really quickly maybe I don't do too much uh, rotation I don't know what this N does very interesting N didn't do much unless you know maybe I'll zero this out so no rotation uh, the rotation comes from these uh, variations very interesting the seed they they don't they don't have input yet I don't think the parameters but uh, these parameters can be controlled anyway if you are using um, you can control this using the another node I think set property maybe or a remote control node remote control multi extrude from add on and um, no in this case not not that's not how you do it anyway at some point we probably can animate this these guys right here repeat let's reduce this for now so yeah that's pretty cool and remember that this guy right here the input currently we have only plane but if you like shift and drag and then you do the this branching thing and then you use something else maybe icosphere our um, icosphere and you just plug it in and you have this that's amazing right suddenly you can have this complex design um, 
let's have more extrusion and that's really powerful add-on and the, the most interesting bits about nodes is that the interactivity that you have this is something that um, with add-on of course it's like a once-off thing sometimes it's it's a good to have a, uh, to use add-on as well you don't always need to bake uh, you just as long you know you have all the parameters just run the add-on and then you you get a result like the for example the IV the IV add-on for blender that's actually really really nice it's, it has it provides some kind of interactivity and then you get a result and you can see the result and then you can update it that's the most important thing updates so with uh, with uh, things like um, sphere chop if you're turning something into add-on and you, you're able to kind of interact with it um, like this this is actually really powerful and yeah so this is like a just like a quick um, touch on this um, this new nodes multi extrude alternative from add-ons that's powerful thanks again I think to the, all the dev I cannot name everyone's but I think this add-on is really beautiful collaborations you know um, yeah maybe at some point I will use this I don't know for creatures with a lot of tentacles definitely this is very powerful um, you can actually do like a chaining of this node as well and imagine that you know you, you can have some kind of uh, maybe like a plant very intricate objects and you can print it out as well it's almost looking like a hair but you have control over everything pretty much see you can make a single tentacle or a lot of them very powerful randomize the seed randomize the seed here as well um, yeah there's also more control like proportional offset per step noise very powerful maybe this is just like um just like a glance of these nodes but still this is very intuitive and very easy it's almost like um, I haven't actually tried the actual add-on I must have looked at it uh, at some point and but anyway this is just another quick demo looking at these new nodes very powerful if you use fresh up for the first time you can play around with this it's pretty easy just plug any generator nodes from here or even like use Suzanne and plug that in into here this guy and then you will get some pretty awesome result um, yeah so hopefully you find this useful thanks again for the new nodes um, stretch of dev and then thanks for this add-on very powerful I really love it um, yeah um, give it a try uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video thank you bye